So it seems very, very similar because it is. Like porosity is not as a big of a deal as we've made it over the years, right? Because. Hey there, good people, welcome. So in a recent video, I gave some just really general moisture tips. And I was asked several times to give tips on specifically low porosity and high porosity hair. So in this video, I'm going to give you three each because I think the tips I gave in that first video expand on this too so that'll give you a total of eight for both porosities if that makes sense so let's start with low porosity low is, is also known as normal because most people have normal porosity hair so really at its core low porosity hair uh, repels water it is hydrophobic right and that's because it really just doesn't need a lot it's the strain is already like intact right you didn't do anything to kill the, the water levels and so it naturally stops a lot of the things that would damage the strand so we're looking for hydration because with hydration you get flexibility and softness uh, you also get less frizz so if you can retain moisture retain that water everything about your hair will get better <laughs> so aside from the five things in the last video so look at that first First and foremost, specifically for low porosity natural, the low porosity strand doesn't like open and close and all that, right? But it does have a few gaps just from everyday handling, right? From taking care of your hair. So in order to fill in those gaps and in order to keep the water in your hair for longer, we're going to pinpoint two ingredients and then we're going to put it all together. So let's start with Hydrolyzed protein. I know, I know. Everybody says don't use protein when you're in a low porosity natural. That's like the worst mistake you can make. Because you see, what you do have as a low porosity natural is certain gaps in the strand. And you have hair that doesn't easily take in water, believe it or not. But you know what helps do that? Protein. Hydrolyzed proteins in low porosity hair actually act as humectants. They keep water close to the strand. They also fill in gaps in the strand. And so using hydrolyzed proteins or strengthening ingredients is going to make your hair more hydrated over time. So you don't want to shy away from hydrolyzed proteins. Now as a low porosity natural, I personally, in my experience, um, do not need to use like strong strengthening treatments every single week, right? that's going to be your products that have protein in like the first five ingredients instead i love using balancing conditioners all the time so there's protein in there usually like hydrolyzed soy sometimes keratin depending on the formulation whatever it is it's usually not in the five first five ingredients so the product when i use it makes my hair feel so soft and hydrated and gives it that flexibility so i get that ultimate curl and so you really want to continue to use those products you just you know want to look at the ingredients label. And then the second ingredient category is film forming humectants. Don't shy away from these either. You need these. Film forming. It, unlike the proteins where they fill in gaps, these film forming humectants do a little coating on the strand that keeps water near and around the strand. We're talking aloe, okra, flax, and so many more. I have a whole video on them. And these ingredients will help keep the hair hydrated over time. They will keep the water in the strand. Water evaporates without anything, right? You've, you cannot just use water and expect your hair to be hydrated the next day. It just doesn't work like that. Instead, you need these film forming humectants to trap the water in the strand over time. Um, I, I named some ingredients, but really you can get all of that in a leave-in conditioner. So that's the third thing that you must not skip. You need to use leave-in conditioners. They contain water, humectants, and occlusive. The trio you really need. I have a Moisture 101 video going further into detail about those things, so I'll link it. But these leave-in conditioners <laughs> can give you every bit of balance you need to have hydrated hair over time. That's what they're formulated to do. And so don't skip leaving in a conditioner. You need it. You really, really do as a low porosity natural. So if nothing else, as a low porosity natural, take those first five things in the first video and add yourself a leave-in conditioner that has film forming humectants 
and use protein occasionally. And then on actually not really the opposite end of things is porous hair or high porosity hair. So high porosity hair actually absorbs everything. The cuticle is just wide open really. It'll take anything but that's bad because it also will let anything go basically. And so though it, it takes water in and other ingredients really easily, it also loses them really easily. So you need to do a few things and they're actually quite similar to low porosity which I'll talk more about at the end of the video. You need to use hydrolyzed proteins for the same reason. You need to fill in those gaps, right? You need to add something in that space in the cuticle so that things don't escape so easily. Your hair is made up of protein. And so hydrolyzed proteins are the best thing to fill in strands, to make the hair smooth, flexible and high porosity hair it'll actually make it shiny too you need to use your protein but you for you the proteins are higher up on the list right you can handle some stronger protein treatment it's not gonna hurt your hair matter of fact your cuticle is probably a little damaged so you can get away with more of those conditioners that have protein in the first five ingredients so don't shy away from them again like low porosity naturals you need to use film forming humectants but really it's for a different reason it's because they coat the strand right you're gonna coat the strand and stop things from evaporating so fast they're weightier they have more weight these film forming humectants right so uh, sometimes people use oil, but really you need humectants in this spot, right? This is going to give your hair not only the weight to keep the water in, but also keep the water near the strand so that it's smooth and flexible, right? And you see better curl definition as a result. So don't skip out on film forming humectants. Where it differs is this last tip, and that is very specifically use coconut oil two to six hours before you wash your hair. Because you have high porosity hair, it takes in too much water. And when your hair takes in too much water, it swells too much and it could cause problems. What coconut oil does very specifically is prevent that swelling. Now you still wanna shampoo it out. This is what you do before shampooing, but this will drastically improve your hair. It will not take in too much water. It will take in just enough and then you use your protein containing conditioner to smooth out the strand and you use this film forming humectants leave-in conditioner to coat the strand and make sure that the hair remains hydrated until you wash it again but this coconut oil is it is a magic ingredient there are a bunch of ingredients that do this outside of coconut oil so use virgin coconut oil extra virgin oil, coconut oil whatever use that two to six hours before you wash your hair and everything will improve because your hair won't swell as much your detangling will improve your hydration levels will improve don't skip this this actually has benefits for low porosity hair as well but it's especially useful in high porosity hair so it seems very very similar because it is like porosity is not as a big of a deal as we've made it over the years right because what you do for low porosity hair actually also works for high porosity hair unless the hair is just like extremely porous then there's a bit more right that's where these extra tips will get you you know a little further um, down the road if you want me to put it all together for you uh, to give you resources you want to ask me more questions about how to keep your hair moisturized I am doing a moisture mastery workshop this month and you can get in where you fit in there are only 25 slots if you want to be in the next workshop make sure you don't walk you run to that link and sign up before the class fills up but in the end if you just have the basic routine of cleanse condition coat you'll be okay so i'm gonna leave my video right here explaining what i mean by cleanse condition and coat and then i'm gonna leave my video here talking about moisture and hydration so that you can understand you know why you need to use these ingredients regardless of your porosity and if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one bye